Hi, Michelle here, bringing you another video, a training video. This time, the topic is the EZIO. It's an intraosseous drill. It's a very exciting device that is used to get access into bone marrow, which has direct access into central circulation. So this is used in a cardiac arrest, um, in a patient that's deteriorating rapidly and we do not have good IV access. So I just want to give you an introduction to this um, great tool for emergency medicine, emergency management, tell you how it's used and how I use it. I use it in all my training programs like in advanced cardiac life support and in the pediatric advanced cardiac life support program as well. And I would like to give special thanks to Mary Jane Espardinez, who works for the Easy Eye Vita Care Company, who provided me with a drill and a lot of the training materials that I need, which is um, fake bones and actually uh, three different sized needles. So I get to show you a bunch of different things here today. Now I um, learned about this Easy IO because in the ACLS algorithm, it says all the emergency drugs can be given either intravenously or IO. And IO stands for intraosseous. So it's been used for a very, very long time. And for those of you who have taken the pediatric advanced life support program, you know that we've always used an intraosseous needle. Um, and they came in two different sizes. And you could see the difference in sizes. This is certainly a pediatric size. And this is um, more of a large child or probably adult size. But pediatric bones are much less denser than adult bones. So you actually were able to screw this into a pediatric bone and you were able to access the marrow and infuse drugs, blood, fluid, um, and at a pretty good rate. So I think this is a 15 gauge. This is smaller, but you'll notice when we use the drill needles, they're all 15 gauge. So that is very nice access to give fluid, drugs, and blood into pretty much directly into central circulation. Now the EZIO company, Vitacare, they have an excellent website that has like training videos, articles. You can go on YouTube even and see amazing videos. You can see actual people getting drilled with the um, Easy IO intraosseous drill. It's a little freaky, but it is so cool. You can see military people using it in the sternum. Other access for the IO drill is tibias. Um, other popular access is the upper humerus. Now there's a lot of literature about using head and neck of bones. But, you know, we'll keep it simple today. Um, but you have two tibias, two humeruses, one sternum. I think you could even use the inner upper malleolus bone. I don't know if that will ever become popular because it's an awkward spot. But definitely tibias have been popular in the pediatric population. And I'm hearing that the humerus access will become popular. So let me give you an idea of how this works. Um, the Easy IO drill is available and it comes with different size drills. There's a lot of material, whether it's, you know, directly in the box. There's even a, a disc that comes with the needles. It's on the website as well. Then there's um, the drill. And, you know, this happens to be an older drill. The new drills are actually much smaller, easier to handle. And the batteries last a very long time. So the company is there for us, whether it's for training or to supply us with materials. Um, it's very good. So what they supplied me with was different types of bones that we could drill into. They supplied me with different types of uh, needles. And the needles also come with extension set which we flush before we access. When I open this box, 
<coughs> there is directions right there. And it has pictures and everything. Of course, any of us that were to do an easy I.O. needle access would have to have proper training. Now, I think presently it's the paramedics on the ambulance that really get use out of this in emergency situations. But emergency rooms would certainly have use for this, and many already have drills. And you can see that it comes in a nice sterile package. Um, we'll get closer pictures after, but this is a very large needle right here. This is meant for the humerus. And there's even lines on the needle, and I'll explain that in a moment. And I um, think these orange things right here is that when you take the inner cannula out, you have some place to stick the needle, you know, for safety reasons, until you get to access to dispose of it properly. And in the package is that extension set I talked about. Also in the package, it's like a handy dandy armband, which will fold around the patient's wrist and stick together and what I like about it, it has a 1-800 number. So I can call the 1-800 number if I needed any information on how to utilize the drill, the needle, if I had any questions. For example, um, you could see on YouTube, Dr. Miller, who actually invented the drill, he explains how you remove the, the needle by turning it clockwise. So most of us would think it's counterclockwise, but that might be a question that I might have at the time when I want to discontinue the um, easy I.O. needle. Now you might want to ask, how long could a needle stay in a patient? They recommend the needle to stay in for 24 hours. So after 24 hours, the team could better make a decision on whether the patient needs another type of central line, whether they can get peripheral access, Maybe we should put a pick line in. Maybe they need another uh, I.O. access. So 24 hours is what they call the limit, and that would certainly reduce any chance of osteomyelitis. We ran out of time in Part 1, Easy I.O. Intra-Ost Drill. So go to Part 2. I'll see you there in a minute.